Hello and welcome back to our NCAA Football 2003 Rivalry Series. Today we've got the Florida Gators taking on the Georgia Bulldogs in a game that is known as the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Georgia currently leads the series 44-33 to with two ties. The first meeting was in 1915 in Jacksonville, Florida. Georgia won that contest 37 to nothing. They started playing annually in 1926, and in 1933 they started playing annually in Jacksonville, Florida. Georgia won the first six meetings, and the Bulldogs held a 23-5 advantage over the Gators until 1952. The Gators would go on to win 13 of the next 18 games. These two teams are very streaky in this rivalry. Florida has owned this series since 1984, winning 14 of 19. The biggest margin of victory in this series was 75 to 0, when the Bulldogs absolutely destroyed the Gators. In the 2002 matchup, the Gators won that one 20 to 13. All of these stats, of course, that I just told you guys were leading up to the 2002 matchup. And I will see you guys down on the field after the guys make their predictions. I'm going to let you guys take a look at the rest of these rosters. And I'll see you down there. Georgia, a calm little community that's about to get shaken up with a college football rumble. And it looks like it's going to be overcast for today's game between the Florida Gators and the Georgia Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Also known in college football as the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, and we are elated to bring you this heated rivalry. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Florida knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Georgia has a good defense. But I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attack. I think they'll play well, but not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. So they're all picking Florida in their ground game. They think Ernest Graham is going to have a big day today against this Georgia defense. But they do think it's going to be a close one as the opening kickoff is kneeled in the end zone. Rex Grossman under center for the Gators. He hits Perez for a first down on the first play of the game. Carlos Perez, junior wide receiver for the Gators. Here's Ernest Graham breaking a tackle. He picks up eight yards right up the gut. Second and two, Grossman in the shotgun looking to throw it. And he's going to take off left side. He's got the first down and more past midfield. One defender giving chase 
finally takes him down at the 36 yard line. What a huge run by Rex Grossman. First and 10, Grossman in the shotgun once again. Throwing it right side, he's got Carlos Perez again, this time to the 16 yard line. Gators inside the red zone, threatening against this Georgia Bulldog defense already. Third and nine though for the Gators. Grossman hits small, close to the first down marker. And let's see where they spot it. They did not give him the first down. Fourth and one, they're going to go for it here. Ernest Graham up the gut. He's got the first down up to the four-yard line. New set of downs for the Gators. And here's Ernest Graham with a toss, and he's going to lose four yards. Great tackle by senior cornerback Brandon Williams. Second and goal, shotgun formation again. Grossman pressured. He is sacked. Redshirt freshman defensive tackle Gerald Anderson coming through for the sack. His first of the day. Grossman not happy with his offensive line. And let's see what happened here. Blows right by the right guard. The halfback doesn't even make an attempt on a block. Third and goal from the 14-yard line. Grossman scrambles up the gut and takes it up to the three-yard line. Does not get in the end zone. Gators will send on the field goal unit at the three-yard line. The kick is up, and it is good. Gators crack the scoreboard first, 3-0. The ensuing kickoff, deep. Redshirt junior cornerback, Bruce Thornton on the return. Juke spins, breaks a tackle, still going. All the way up to the 29-yard line. Great return for the redshirt junior. First and 10, G DJ Shockley. In the shotgun, rolling out left side, scrambles, takes off past the 40. He fumbles it, he coughs it up, and it is scooped up by Cromarty at the 30-yard line. Bulldogs offense not looking so good on the first play of the game for them. Grossman taking a shot deep, caught by Kite inside the five-yard line. Junior wide receiver Kelvin Kite splitting the DBs for the first down. First and goal, last play of the first quarter. Carthen up the middle, untouched. The big fullback takes it in. 10 0. Gators on top. Shockley rolling out, throwing over the middle. Caught by Gibson. He's got the first down. Finally, a good sign for the Bulldogs' offense. Shockley in the shotgun. He's going to option. Pitches it. It's deflected away and recovered by Florida. Redshirt senior safety Todd Johnson on the recovery. And here is Grossman looking to score again, going deep, and he's got Small for the touchdown. Gators on top, 17 to nothing over the Georgia Bulldogs. OJ Small, redshirt sophomore wide receiver with a huge touchdown catch to extend the lead to 17. This beats the cornerback like he stole something. Can the Bulldogs answer? Here is DJ Shockley getting pressured, running for his life, and picks up the first down. One of the very few first downs of the game for the Bulldogs and here's Smith up the gut he'll pick up seven or eight yards second and three Shockley scrambles takes off he's got the first down dives forward to avoid the hit 2 and 22 to go here in the first half Shockley pressured again takes off and another first down using his feet he's got six carries averaging 7.3 yards per carry and this time he might throw it. He's going deep and caught by Gibson. One-handed catch, nice spin move inside the five-yard line. Sophomore wide receiver Fred Gibson with a great play. One of the very few passing plays that have worked for the Bulldogs. Here's Shockley scrambling left side, and he's going to walk into the end zone. Bulldogs finally get on the scoreboard. It is 17-7 here in Athens, Georgia. With just over a minute to go here in the first half. Linebacker giving chase there. You're not going to catch DJ Shockley in the open field. But Rex Grossman and the Gators offense still has time to work with as he hits Ben Troop to about the 36-yard line. Second and six. Grossman over the middle. He's got Kite wide open. He's got blocks. And he gets all the way up to the 39-yard line. Great play by the wide receiver. Nice crossing route, 131 passing yards for Rex Grossman so far, 33 rushing. 30 seconds to go, Ernest Graham gets a draw up the middle, picks up 9 or 10 yards, very close to the first down marker. Third and one, goal line formation, Ernest Graham is stuffed for a loss of two. But they're going to go for it here on fourth and four. Here's Grossman scrambling, throwing it deep to the end zone, deflected away by Gibson. 
and he lays out the receiver at the end of the play. Shockley with 14 seconds to go in the first half. He's going to roll out right side, take off. He's got the first down, still going. Nice juke, and he is rocked past midfield. But the Bulldogs will have time for one more play. Shockley going to throw it up to the end zone here. He's got a man. It's Johnson, but he can't connect with him. He overthrew him by just a couple yards. And that will take us to the second half. Gators on top, 17-7. to they have 180 yards of offense to the Bulldogs, 116. Only 40 passing yards so far for Georgia, and that's not going to get it done. Thornton muffs the return, and he's going to break a tackle and get up to the 19-yard line. Almost a really bad play for Georgia to start the second half. Shockley hit as he throws. He's got Fred Gibson for a four-yard pickup on the left sideline. Second and six. Shockley quarterback sweep runs over a defensive end. My goodness. He's got 73 yards rushing today. Smith with a counter. He's going to go right side. Still going up towards midfield. Breaks a tackle. Jukes still going. Making everybody miss. Another missed tackle past the 30-yard line. What a run for Musa Smith. My goodness. Shockley looking to throw. Pressured. Evades the defense. Throws it back to the right. And Gibson fumbles it. It's recovered by Lee. And the Gators take over. That's the third Bulldog turnover of the game. Grossman options. Pitches to Graham. He's got a lot of space in front of him. And gets up to the 45-yard line. After a big hit. Third and seven. Grossman pressured. And he is sacked. This time by David Pollock. The left end. Second and seven for the Bulldogs after a Florida Gator punt. Shockley's got a man wide open. It's Edwards up to the 48-yard line. Three consecutive completions for Shockley, and he needs some more of that if he wants his team to get back in the game as we're almost to the fourth quarter. Shockley options, keeps it himself, picks up seven more yards on the ground. He's got 79 yards on 11 carries. Third and four. Shockley taking a shot deep. And it is deflected away at the last second. Gators with a nice stop. They get the ball at their own five-yard line, though. Here's Ernest Graham getting it up to about the 11-yard line. Third and six. Grossman in the shotgun. Play action. Takes a shot deep left side, and it's caught by Taylor Jacobs. Past midfield, past the 40, the 30, the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Taylor Jacobs to the house. 89-yard touchdown pass from Rex Grossman. And Taylor Jacobs has elite speed, my goodness. Nice corner route, just got past the two DBs. And you're not gonna catch him in the open field. Just an unbelievable effort. And that puts the Gators on top 24 to seven here in the fourth quarter. 3.31 to go in the game. Florida kicks it off deep to the right. That's Fred Gibson. And he muffs it. That's two muffed kick returns by the Bulldogs today. And he's cutting back left. Needs a couple blocks, but he can't get them. Taken down at around the 14-yard line. Shockley under center. Nice block on the right side. And Shockley takes a shot deep. He's got a man, and he's got Edwards past the 45-yard line. But there is a holding call on Musa Smith, the halfback. So that will drop them back to their own seven yard line. First and 17. Shockley takes another shot deep. Man, wide open. And Fred Gibson cannot hold on to it. Drops an easy one. Third and 17. Shockley needs a big play. He's going right. Caught by Gary. Breaks a couple tackles. Still going past midfield. That's the 40 and taken down by the shoestring. Oh my goodness, what a play. Great effort by the defensive back. I think it was Todd Johnson getting in there and saving the touchdown. Going no huddle here. Shockley in the shotgun. Rolling out left. He is sacked. Big time blitz. And that was Farrier on the sack. Second and 17 now. Shockley under center. Pump fakes. Scrambles left side. And he breaks a tackle and is sacked anyway. Back at the 47-yard line. I think that was Farrier once again. Great broken tackle there. But there's just so many defenders surrounding him. Not enough blocking up front. That was Scott on the sack. Third and 18. Two minutes to go in the game. 
Shockley rolling out right, thrown over the middle and deflected away, almost intercepted by the Gators. Fourth and 18, less than two minutes to go now. Shockley over the middle, caught by Edwards, fighting for the first down. Did he get it? No, he did not. They say he was stopped short. Gators take over. Here's Ernest Graham going left side. He picks up about six or seven yards, but there's a holding call on the tight end, Ben Troop. First and 20 now. Graham, carry right side, pass to 25, jukes, couple guys out, breaks the tackle, still going, my goodness, in the open field, and fumbles it out of bounds at the 50. Graham's got 71 yards on 11 carries so far. Minute and a half to go, here's Graham again. He'll pick up six more yards to add to his total for the day. Second and three, Green with the carry. He's got the first down, runs over the safety. Just about done with this game, under a minute to go. Green once again going right side, fighting for the first down, stays in bounds at the 32 yard line, finally taken down. Third and one, Carthen up the gut, the big fullback has the first down and that is gonna do it here in Athens, Georgia. The Gators walk out of here with a victory, 24 to seven over the Georgia Bulldogs. Rex Grossman played a great game a lot of big plays in the passing game and a lot of great runs there in the second half by the Gators. Too many turnovers by the Bulldogs cost them this ball game. A couple fumbles there in the first half. It really hurt this team. Shockley did not have a lot of blocking. People were dropping passes left and right. Only 268 yards of offense for them. 220 passing for the Gators. Three turnovers from the Bulldogs. All fumbles. And Georgia only scored once, and that was in the second quarter. They got shut out three quarters this game. Shockley, 71 yards on the ground. Musa Smith, 54 on four carries. They probably should have went to the ground game a little bit more, but they were down early on in the game, forcing Shockley to try to throw it up. But let me know what you guys thought of this rivalry game, and if you have any more suggestions, Put them in the comment section below. I will comment back. I try to comment on every comment that I get. But sometimes I miss them. I don't get my notifications. But this is a fun game. I like playing with different teams instead of just having my Mississippi State Bulldogs dynasty. Because it gets me to play with, you know, different players that I grew up watching. Like Rex Grossman, Musa Smith, DJ Shockley. All those great players from the early 2000s. Todd Johnson with a fumble recovery there. He had a forced fumble as well. There's three fumbles recovered by separate players on the Gators today. Brent Telcott with a field goal. Our next rivalry game will be Cal taking on Stanford. I look forward to that one. A lot of great names in that. Kyle Bowler is the quarterback. He used to be the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens back in the day. That's going to be a good one. I'll bring that one to you guys sometime. Whenever I have some extra time, I'll get them out. But until then, I will see you guys in the comments section below. And I will see you guys later on in the week with some FCS Dynasty starting the South Tournament. Take it easy, guys.